In this tutorial, I'll discuss how you can use articulation sets in Logic to control which techniques you're using within our plugins. In the last tutorial about key switching in BBC Symphony Orchestra Discover, I discussed how you could use the bottom notes of the keyboard to control which technique we're using at any given time. Let's have a quick reminder of how that works. You can see that I've created a quick piece here and the notes at the bottom are selecting which technique is being used. You can see that that works well in terms of the MIDI score. However, if we now open the actual score, you'll see that we have two staves and that we have the melody and the key switching. And this isn't good for cleaning up your orchestration. So the best way around this is to use articulation sets within Logic. If I return to the piano roll, you'll see that we have the track information here and articulation sets. We can select a new setting and it will open the articulation set menu. For the first violins, we've got four techniques. Now I've filled in the names, we can also give these relevant symbols. The final thing that we need to do is select the output. The type is note on. These are the bottom notes on the keyboard. The final thing that we need to do is select the selector. This is the note that is connected to each articulation and for this plugin it starts from C-2 onwards. Now that we've created our articulation map we can save it and you'll see that this is saved in your Audio Music Apps articulation settings. We can now remove the notes that we previously had within the score. And you'll see that we now have the articulations available in this menu on the side. If we highlight the notes we want to change and then select which technique we wish to use, the plugin will now change on those specific notes. Now that we've built the articulation set for the violins and changed the articulations for each note, let's have a listen to how it sounds now. You can now see that we've got exactly the same result as we had before with the notes, apart from if we look in the score now, and we've even got the correct notation for the different techniques that we're using. In the description below, you'll find a link to some of our articulation maps that we've made for our libraries. To begin with, we've started with BBC Symphony Orchestra and Abbey Road. To import these into Logic, you'll need to go over to your user folder, which you can navigate to by opening Finder and selecting Command plus Shift plus H. When you're in your user folder, select Music, Audio Music Apps, and Articulation Settings, and this is where you'll place your folders and any articulation sets that you have. Once you've placed your articulation sets within your folder, you can then navigate to them by selecting the drop down next to Articulation Set navigating to the correct library, selecting the section that the instrument is within, and then selecting the specific instrument that you have loaded. You'll then see that the full list of articulations is available from the menu here. And you can also select the articulation from the menu within the plugin. Thanks for watching Spitfire Clips. Let us know if it was too long, too short, too fast, or too slow in the comments down below. Hit like if we answered your question, and subscribe for more clips, tips, tricks and exclusive Spitfire content.